Hello, faithful at St. Catherine. It's Father Lou, and I hope you're all doing very well on this, the last day of the month of March, the 31st of March. I thought I would greet you from my home today, and I wanted to sh have a few moments that I could spend with our children. So with that in mind, I wanted to show them a couple of icons, one of which is an icon of the Ladder of Divine Ascent. As you know, this past Sunday, the day before yesterday, we celebrated the fourth Sunday of Great Lent, and we honored John of Climacos, St. John Climacos, St. John of the Ladder. And for those of you who had the chance to see the Divine Liturgy, Father Theodore did a great uh, children's sermon. He climbed up the ladder. St. John is famous for writing a book called The Ladder of Divine Ascent. And in this book, The Ladder of Divine Ascent, he has 30 steps or rungs on a ladder, and it's like going from earth up into heaven. And so we have an icon of that that I wanted to show you at this time. This is called the icon of the ladder of divine ascent. And if you look very carefully at this icon, we have people going up here. These are primarily monks and even priests up here. And each of the rungs of the ladder represents something very special that we can do and focus on in loving God and also in loving other people. And so the monks or the people on this ladder are going up the ladder. But you see over on the other side down here, there's kind of scary, but there's, there's like demons, there's like the devil trying to pull the people off of the ladder. And as they are pulling the people, they, they get a higher and higher, and then they're trying to pull them off. They're tempting them to do things that are not very nice. And sometimes, look at what happens. The monks and even the priest all the way at the top is pulled off the ladder. But thank God they go down and God gives them a chance to start again. So this is an icon, and it's an encouragement to, for us to kind of do our very best to begin every day to get up in the morning and to do our cross to do our stuff at all, to thank God for everything that he gives to us and help him, ask him to help us to do things that are good and to do things that are kind, like listening to our mothers and fathers, doing things like picking up the, our toys, making our bed, doing our homework. We know that a lot of our uh, children are at home, everybody's at home right now, and doing schoolwork at home. So doing our homework and just obeying so that we get up in the morning and we ask God to help us to do that. And if we make a mistake or if we don't do something to say sorry to our mother and father or to our brother and sister, if we've not been very nice to them, and then to get back up and try to climb up the ladder again. So this is one icon that I wanted to show you today. Another icon is a very, very special icon that was given to me. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was kind of sick and so I had to have an operation, and I have Father Dimitri from the cathedral gave me this beautiful icon of the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos. It has a glass on it, so we're seeing a little reflection. But this is an icon of the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, and it's called Panagia Pandanasa. And it's from a monastery on Mount Athos. And we can see the Virgin Mary holding Jesus in her arms, and then we see Archangel Gabriel and the other angels above her. And I share this icon because it's very special for me. It's an icon that for, for people who are sick so that they will get better. And I thought this was a very good icon to show now since there's quite a few people that are sick outside and we want them to get better. So with that in mind, we are asking God through the powerful intercessory prayers of the Panagia, the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, to bless us and to be with us and to bless people who are sick, not only in our city and town, but in our state and throughout the whole country and throughout the whole world. So we're going to say this prayer and we're going to ask her in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, to the powerful intercessory prayers of your mother, the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos. We ask you to be with the people, to be with all of us, and to protect us in this very, very challenging time. 
and to grant your healing touch, the healing touch of the Lord, through the powerful intercessory prayers of the Virgin Mary, the, your mother who held you in her arms, who was your mother when you were born in the manger in Bethlehem, who was your mother all the way in raising you until you were um, a teenager and then a young man, and then you went out on your public ministry. Through her powerful intercessory prayers, be with us. Protect us, help us to be healthy, and help us to be strong, and help us to always understand that you are with us, and that if you are with us, Lord, no one can be against us. Not only through the intercessory prayers of the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, but also through the intercessory prayers of St. John of the Latter, St. John Climacos, through the intercessory prayers of St. Catherine the Great Martyr, and of all the saints, we glorify and worship your holy name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You might notice that um, I don't have my clergy shirt on today because I'm at home, but I have a shirt, I have a cross on my shirt right there. This is a shirt that we got for our Goyans when they were in a basketball tournament a few years ago, and we had a few extra shirts, so I was able to have one as well, even though I didn't play in the basketball tournament. The last thing I wanted to do, I wanted to do this for our parents and for the adults. I wanted to give a shout out and thank from the bottom of my heart on behalf of all of you, all of the people who are working so hard during this uh, time. I wanted to especially thank the doctors and the nurses and the CNA workers and the hospital workers, the mental health professionals, all of the people that are in the medical profession who are working. Thank God for them and for their philanthropic work. Philanthropy is a Greek word. Philia is, means love. And anthropos means humans or mankind. So it's philanthropos is a lover of mankind. We know God is a philanthropic God. He loves all of humankind, all of us. And so this work, this endeavor by all of the medical professionals is a philanthropic work. It is a work loving mankind, loving humankind. We ask God to protect and to bless them and to be with them. We also thank God for all of the people who are working and not at home, working at home or from home to help others. And also the people that are at the grocery stores and at the, um, at the gas stations and people who are working to allow us to take care of the needs that we have at home. Pharmacists, the people who are making sure people have medicine. We thank them and we give a shout out to all of them with our heartfelt uh, appreciation. So with that in mind, um, please know that you are in my thoughts and prayers. Father Thomas's thoughts and prayers, Father Theodore's thoughts and prayers, and Father Paul, I even spoke with Father Paul the other day. He's doing okay. You know, he's been struggling uh, with other health issues for some period of time, but he talked and he wanted me to give you his very best and know that you are all in his thoughts and prayers as well. So on behalf of all of our clergy, on behalf of our parish council, our president, Stu Weinroth, and all the members of the council, on behalf of our ministry team leaders from Philoptikos and pastoral care and outreach and evangelism and worship and sacramental life and adult ministries, and young adult ministries, on behalf of um, youth ministries, uh, our love goes to you all and you're in our thoughts and prayers. Please continue to keep us in your thoughts and prayers. And remember that God's love is great, is great and his mercy is, is unimaginable. And we know that we're going to get through this challenge. Know that he is with us. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Have a beautiful and blessed day. And remember, if God is for us, no one can be against us.